thank you very much, everybody. This has been a long journey. But for Andrew, it's been a very interesting day. Because, as you probably heard, I said a little bit earlier, from a Turkish prison to the White House in 24 hours. That's not bad. Actually. And I, I want to start by saying that Noreen was unbelievable. She was calling and calling. She definitely loved you. Let me put it that way. But she was calling, and she wanted you out. And there was, she was not playing games, right? And we're very proud of you, Noreen. Thank you very much. And you are very, very special to all of us. Uh, we've been negotiating long and hard. Uh, we do not pay ransom in this country, at least any longer. We won't pay ransom. Otherwise, you have big problems, and lots of things will happen, and lots of bad things will happen. But I still — I want to thank uh, President Erdogan. We've been dealing, and we actually — until this, we had a very good relationship. I was actually very surprised that we didn't work this out a couple of months ago. Chairman Kim was really great to us. I think that started the relationship that we have now in North Korea with three hostages, as you know. Uh, Egypt. Uh, we had uh, Aya. Aya was, they said, a spy. She was sentenced to 25 years. They told President Obama, we will not let her out under any circumstances. And they told me she'll be in the Oval Office in 24 hours. We all know that. And you guys worked on that one, too. And many others, many others. And we especially want to thank the administration. You really fought for us, uh, unusually so, for, from the time uh, you took office. I know that you've been engaged, and Secretary of State Pompeo also was very engaged and fought for us, and uh, Vice President Pence. Uh, we're very grateful. Lord God, I ask that you pour out your Holy Spirit on President Trump, that you give him supernatural wisdom to accomplish all the plans you have for this country and for him. I ask that you give him wisdom in how to lead this country into righteousness. I ask that you give him perseverance and endurance and courage to stand for truth. I ask that you protect him from slander, from enemies, from those who would undermine. I ask that you make him a great blessing to this country. Fill him with your wisdom and strength and perseverance. And we bless him. May he be a great blessing to our country. In Jesus' name, we bless you. Amen. Amen. And I, I just want to pray that the spirit of the Lord would rest on the president, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Jeremy. Could I ask you one question? Yeah. Who did you vote for? <laughs> <laughs> I knew the answer. I knew the answer. I would like to say I, I sent in an absentee ballot from prison. <laughs> 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 Sorry. It's a little unfair. I knew the answer. I would never do that to myself. Could be, that could be too tough. Thank you, James. Thank you. Good idea.